A very good morning to all. Looking at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for 24th July. On the front page you have Kumaraswamy government loses trust vote. So confidence motion was moved by Congress Jantadal Secular Coalition government and it was defeated by six votes. So this is the status now. It had been delayed for long. Finally the trust vote has taken place. So now BJP will stake claim to form the government in Karnataka. Then this is Modi did not seek Trump's mediation in Kashmir. So central government has clarified that uh, what US President Donald Trump stated, we discussed in news yesterday, that Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on the sidelines of, uh, or while they met in, uh, in Osaka in Japan on the sidelines of the G20 summit, Prime Minister Modi spoke of, or rather asked US President Donald Trump whether he would like to be a mediator in Kashmir issue. And uh, President Trump wants to be now. So both houses of parliament were in disarray because opposition demanded clarification from Prime Minister Modi on this. Then below you have Assam NRC final publication extended till July, till August 31. So the deadline for publishing the final NRC, National Register of Citizens updated NRC for Assam was 31st July but we had seen how both the central government and state governments had approached the Supreme Court asking it to extend the deadline and said they want to do sample ver verification. So the deadline has been extended to August 31 but no sample verification as such because Supreme Court turned down the plea of center in Assam. So only the deadline has been extended. On page 5 you have UP bill to tackle anti-national activities on campus tabled. So a draft bill has been approved by the state cabinet recently in Uttar Pradesh which seeks an undertaking from private universities that they will not allow their campus to be used for anti-national activities. So this is the bill. Then below you have Rajasthan vaccination drive starts amid protests. So parents in Bharatpur prevented health officials from vaccinating children. This was the measles rubella vaccine campaign which was targeted to cover 2.36 crore children up to 15 years of age. So it started in Rajasthan amid protests. So you can see there was resistance in schools when the vaccination was uh, proposed to be done. So because some children you can see they complained and were hospitalized. They complained of vomiting and nausea. So this has caused concern. Some also raised points that schools vaccination were taking place without consent of parents. On page 9 you have Supreme Court moves to rein in fraudulent builders. So Supreme Court has cancelled the registration of Amrapali group under the real estate regulatory body. And you can see it has directed the union and state governments to move against the builders as such for defrauding home buyers. So this is in Delhi. Then this is UGC list of fake universities 14 out of 23 around since 2005. So University Grants Commission has come up this list of fake universities which do not have proper doc uh, documentation. They have not been approved to run universities and uh, there are 23 such of which 14 have been around since 2005. And yet they are closed doors, they have not stopped functioning yet despite anti-malpractice sales efforts. Then on the editorial page, the first editorial is what suits Trump. So this is regarding the proposal which US President Donald Trump has put forth that he would like to be a mediator. So it, the editorial says that the US President violated diplomatic protocols in talking of mediation on Kashmir. And second editorial is Caribbean Cruise. So this is actually regarding sports, cricket. So it says India goes to the West Indies sensing more cricketing opportunities than threats. So then uh, next is the lead article, a bridge across India-Pakistan abyss. So this is regarding the Kartarpur corridor. It says, the article says, it would be a travesty to waste the opportunities made possible by the Kartarpur corridor plan. So this is one issue on which both India and Pakistan are coordinating and we can improve our ties further through this is what this article says. And this is faltering steps in anti-AIDS march. So it says the commitment to end the AIDS pandemic by 2030 needs strong and fearless leadership. So we have uh, the joint UN program on AIDS commonly known as UNAIDS 
it is facing one of its worst challenges globe in the global aid response uh, it's it has having an existential threat questioning its very relevance now un secretary general is expected to appoint a new executive director for the departure after the departure of uh, the present head then on page 11 you have the complexities of naga identity so this is regarding rin exercise register of indigenous inhabitants of nagaland so after assam's nrc exercise nagaland is planning to have its own such exercise to identify illegal migrants so this article says that nagaland government will face many hurdles in its quest to compile a list of indigenous inhabitants so that detail is provided this is also an important issue and this is making the water guzzling thermal plants accountable so it says that thermal power plants take in a lot of water and an improved monitoring mechanism can play a key role in this issue and this is regarding india south korea relations it says they are yet to reach their full potential despite making significant strides on page 12 you have again regarding rti bill you know scrutinize rti bill is what the opposition says and this is labor bills meet with protest so the labor bills have now been referred uh, are proposed to be referred to standing committee on labor so this is what the opposition is demanding so we have seen how the labor codes have to be uh, no, consolidated and are proposed to be passed so there are four codes which will be passed the labor reform laws so these are code on occupational safety health and working conditions bill two we have seen already have been introduced so this these are the two code on wages bill of 2019 so these are actually number 2 and number 3 of the four uh, labor laws so here there are protests against these bills uh, the demand is to refer them to standing committee on labor of the parliament it's a parliamentary committee which will scrutinize the bill in detail and this is center asserting states rights mps so in lok sabha the motor vehicles amendment bill 2019 was passed by voice vote and members of parliament raised concerns they flag certain provisions of motor vehicles bill as such as asserting the states rights on page 13 you have un climate envoy means javadekar so initiatives by india have been discussed with the un special envoy on climate change in delhi then below you have nai nia likely to take over 2700 crore punjab drug smuggling case so national investigation agency which looks into terror related cases and other serious crimes now agency is going to take up the punjab drug smuggling case and agency suspects it could be related to another operation it is investigating on international page you have this coverage on britain the new british prime minister would be appointed so it is boris johnson who is uh, he's going to be the new british prime minister it says the john johnson boris johnson is a brexit law means he demanded brexit that is exit of britain from european union so he vows to seal the divorce deal so there needs to be a deal between britain and european union before they exit from eu so that is called a divorce deal how the relations be in future otherwise there will be a lot of uncertainty so he says we are going to deliver it on october 31 take advantage of all the opportunities it will bring and defeat jeremy corbyn so jeremy corbyn is actually the labor leader of labor political party in uk then on business page you have etihad in the race to acquire jet airways so this is carrier aircraft carrier airline from abu dhabi it says it is likely to submit bid along with hinduja group to acquire jet airways and this is imf cuts india's growth forecast for 2019 20 to 7% so indian international monetary fund has cut india's growth forecast for 2019 20 it says weaker than expected outlook for domestic demand is the reason then there is sports coverage on the last page so these are the important headlines so only those headlines which are important and relevant for civil services examination are highlighted and already there are issues which continue for long important developments in them have been covered those which are redundant have not been covered so these are the articles which you need to cover from the paper thank you